Apologetics seeks to give credible answers to curious questions. Did Jesus come to bring war? Check out these verses in Matthew chapter 10. In verses 34 through 39, Jesus says, Do not think that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I have not come to bring peace, but a sword. What? I mean, what's that all about, right? For I have come to set a man against his father and a daughter against her mother and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law and a person's enemies will be those of his own household. What do you do there? You know, you read these verses and you're sitting there, you're scratching your head and some people say, see, Jesus is like Muhammad. Look, a case for holy war, a case for crusades. Jesus is a person of war. He came to bring war. He came to bring a sword. Well, what do we do? We interpret scripture in its proper context. Jesus goes on and he says, whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. What in the world is Jesus talking about? He did not come to bring war. He came in order so that we could experience forgiveness of our sins. And what he is saying is, is the message of believing in him, living for him, will create war in the household. It'll bring a sword in the household. It'll divide the family up. Why? Because people will not want people following Jesus. Moms won't want their kids following Jesus. Dads won't want their wives following Jesus. Employees won't want their bosses following Jesus and vice versa. So his message will bring a sword. It's going to create a relational rift. This isn't a verse to physically go to war with one another. In fact, remember when one of Jesus' disciples took a sword in the garden of Gethsemane and whacked off the ear. What did Jesus do? Put your swords away. Jesus came to bring peace and he even said, peace I leave with you.